Miss. Hmm? Laura Ball's on the young woman brought in here early this morning. Do you know how she is? I'm sorry. I can't give out that kind of information. I might check with the information desk. Okay, thank you. Laura Ball brought in early this morning.
no reason for you to be crying. There's nothing for you to be afraid of. I'm here. I'm always going to be here. You know what we have together? Nobody is ever going to change what we have. She, um, she, she doesn't really feel like talking. Oh, dear, poor baby. Well, I thought I would come in and give you a little break. I can sit with her for a while. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to go get a, a cup of coffee. Uh, I'm going to take a walk, okay? Okay. Oh, dear, poor baby. Oh, dear, poor baby.
appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing those flowers and a friendly face might be exactly what she needs. Come on, let me go ask her and uh, mm. we'll see how she feels about it, all right? Great, great. Annie, you know where to find me. Great. Oh, Mary, such a lovely room. Well, let's just open the blinds and then we'll let the sunshine in the room. Please, I like it that way. And it's just these are my blinds. I'm going to look. Okay. A little. From Chicago, I need to stop. You know, he's flying back from Chicago today, and I always worry about him when he's flying in stormy weather. Yeah, I'm glad to have a home. Oh, you bitch. Like something gone if you do, this evening forever. Well, I can do this, but I'm really very dependent on that outside life. Yeah, everything can go through the mind for years, and I can really do like it. We've been man and wife just a little longer than you and Scotty have. Yeah. Girl, girl, please. Don't what? Talk about marriage or Scotty. Listen, Laura, you cannot shut him out. I don't want to see him. I guess that sounds awful. No, it doesn't sound awful. It sounds perfectly normal under right the circumstances, but... Look, I know you're not going to believe me, but all those feelings are going to change in a few days. Oh, I can't face what's happened. I... I saw him ask you to be strong, so don't expect it for yourself. I don't know how I feel. Yes, I do. I feel ashamed. I feel a little dirty. And I feel guilty. I feel so guilty. Every time I look in Scotty's eyes, all I can think about is, Laura, oh, you have nothing to feel guilty about. It is not your fault that you were raped. No, maybe it was. I mean, maybe I was asking for it by the way I acted. Maybe it really was my fault. By the way you were acting. I shouldn't have tried to walk home. It was late at night. I should have called the taxi, but I didn't. I was so upset. I, I just didn't care. Because you thought that Scotty didn't care about you, but he does, Laura. We all do. Any marriage is going to survive this. You see. I don't want you, Scotty. All right, you don't want Hi, hello again. Hi, Joe, would you mind if I talk to Laura alone for a second? Oh, no, of course not. No, no. 